Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It's the morning of day 28. We do have a horde tonight, so we got to go out and do a couple things. One, we need iron because this is all the iron we have. Don't have a whole lot. Let's get that locked in. Uh, and I think I want to go dig up that other treasure. Um, I've been thinking about what we're going to do. i actually go to the map here. What we're going to do moving forward because we've got iron and nitrate over here. We've got coal here, which is great. We have to do some mining. Hoping to get a thousand coal and nitrate each and then whatever iron I can get today. And then I want to go out and do this treasure map here. I want to do the nursery back to health challenge on the way there. Get that done and out of the way with. Uh, I think we're going to start by doing this one. Because I'm hoping that uh, a wandering horde comes earlier today. I don't want to be in a mine here when a wandering horde shows up. So I think we're going to go do and do those first. And then see where we're at. Uh, I've been trying to consider what we're going to do ammunition-wise moving forward. We're going to have to be careful. This next horde is pretty much going to dictate how well we'll be able to do. So we got four stacks of shotgun ammo. And then our 762 is... Oh yeah, I put everything in here for the horde for tonight so I can just quickly grab it out. So we've got, what, three and a bit stacks of 762. I'm going to use this a bit tonight just to coil shotgun. I just want I'm interested to see if that's going to be any better, but... Um, we're limited on coil ammo until we turn level 50 or 60. I mean, we can't actually make any coil stuff, so we're just kind of sitting on that. Got grenades, molotovs. We're really low on molotovs, so we're going to have to find some more. We got the crossbow here with, we didn't grab the ammo. I've got 20 crossbow bolts, exploding crossbow bolts, so that could help. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep making molotovs or not. Uh, we might. Gonna hang on to that junk turret. Um, I keep clicking here for it to sort because it's on <laughs> it's on this side for this side. But um, yeah, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, so we got we got a full stack of shotgun in here too, right? Yeah, so we got a we got okay we're, we're okay for shotgun. Um, but we're gonna have to get lead as well because the one thing that we do have right now is a half decent amount of brass for for tips. Or casings, I mean, but we don't really have any. Um, actually, we might as well turn all of that into casings while we're I keep in that corner while we're waiting because we've got the time. So let's do uh, bullet casings. How many can we make? Just get them going in there. I think we got a lot going in here still. Yeah, we got a few. We'll just make over time. We don't need to worry so much about it. So we're going to get some clay today. Um, yeah, let's get going. we got a couple guys downstairs we can take care of here on the way out. Do we have... Uh, what do I have in there? Nothing. Nothing in there. Um, looking for... My red tea. There it is. Just use one of these before we go. Get the digestive efficiency up a little higher. Leave those in there. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Got to deal with the locals again every morning. Every morning the locals show up, every morning we tell them to fuck off, and every morning they just decide that they're not going to. They'll be back tomorrow. Come on, big mama. I got shit to do. Alright, we're going that way, but we're gonna go out of the town this way. Now, we got, we're okay for gas. Uh, we need to go, after this horde, we need to go to the desert. And we need to go to the desert for two reasons. One, we got to pick up some more um, oil shell to be able to make oil and gas. Um, we're burning through our oil pretty quick. I can make Molotovs with it, but we needed to make gun parts and things like that. So I've been kind of holding off using it. Uh, we don't have as much as I thought we did. We've got like 30, think, left, something like that. And I usually like to have around 80 or 100 just kicking around just in case. Um, so we want to get about 30 left or so. So we'll have to worry about that. And then we need to get lead. We can't get it in the green biome, unfortunately. So we do have to go. It's either the snow biome or the um, desert biome that has it. So I'm hoping we can find a place that's got two um, ores in one location. That would be great. And I was going to go check on the farm this morning. I completely forgot about that. I'm going to grab another potato as we're going here. Uh, but I think we should also go hit up at some point on a resource gathering day or on a trader vis visiting day we should go hit up um, the um, what's his name Bob's town because there's I think there's farms and stuff around the town 
and we can probably grab a lot of corn from that some potatoes and stuff like that just till our farm gets up and running I think we're gonna st still be relying kind of quasi on being able to grab stuff off the ground I should have got the farm going a lot sooner but ah, eh, you know me who knows maybe we'll get lucky when we get here and this will be right on top of a node uh, where the heck is this in the water it better not be in the water I was gonna say maybe it's like right on top of a ore node or something like that is it in the water oh my god um Hey you. I need your uh Damn it. Not gonna give it to me without a fight. I need his uh honey. Um I don't even know what to do. I mean I guess I could dig down and try and get I don't see it there anywhere. Like, I thought maybe it would be on the surface because it's down far enough, but I'm going to drown in there, so... I'm guessing that's off limits. Well, that changes my morning. Okay, well... Maybe it's a good thing I forgot to bring the dynamite. I was going to use the dynamite again to dynamite the top of it, but I guess, um... I guess we go do the nurse challenge, and then, uh... We'll see what we're doing from there. So I've been considering what to do now. I mean, we got a level 51 AK, which is good for Horde Knight, but we're going to burn through ammo relatively quickly with that. Uh, where did I... Oh, there it is. Um, so, because we're going to burn through ammo quickly with that, um, I, like my big concern is brass. Like, getting coal and nitrate is not a problem. It's just spending a little time mining it, right? Um, let's just take care of you first. Winger! Whoops, sorry about that. Um, so it's getting the coal and nitrate's easy. It's getting the brass. It's a little more difficult. Uh, and that's not so much of an issue because I think we can just pull off a few of these jobs to get the brass we need. There we go. That little grain alcohol never hurt anybody. Um, so we can pull off some of these jobs and get dukes for that and then just melt the dukes down for brass. So that's not so much of an issue. And that's something that we could do in a day. We could pull off three or four of those real quick for the trader. And then um, get the dukes for it. Actually, let's go to the trader now. I'll turn this one in and get another one. Alright. Yeah, so we could um, easily get the, uh, the brass casings that way. I think it's like six brass per casing, so... purchase something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have anything inventory-wise that I want, though, do you? But you might take this. Yes, you will. You're not so bad after I'm not that bad. She's trying to get out. She's like, fuck this place. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Oh, Winchester, level 36. We'll take that, and I'm going to take these. Much as I want the ammo, the high-powered 9 millimeters, not so... I mean, we get tips out of that, but it's... Actually, they scrapped the lead, too. But I think I would rather have the skill notes. We need to get the masteries, so... Oh, shoot, I forgot. We have two books sitting in the... Uh, in the writing desk that we need to get on onto today. Um... Do you have any jobs? Uh, cable guys never made it. They might drop something. These ones are easier. But these guys might drop you? better stuff. Now, where are you? Just out that way. I don't know how many dukes we got for that. Not a lot, I don't think. Uh, we want to handle doing this? I don't think so. Oh, but we do want to do these, though. So let's go ahead and harvest this stuff. Still getting two for those. Alright. I think we need to raise farming up a little bit to get a little bit more return on investment there. Oi. Get out. Alright, hopefully this one is near a ore node. We can do some mining while we're out there. That ah, looks like it's close to a uh, something here. What are you? Coal. We're four hitting coal with the uh, thing here. Mo, fuck off! I got shit to do today. Where are you guys? 
Come on. Winged him. There we go. Solve your problem. Where are the other two? Was it just three of them? I thought five were supposed to spawn. Or are they... Oh, there's one. Is that it? Did I... I must have headshotted one right away. A little crowbar we can sell. Ooh, not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Kind of worth it. All right, let's dig... Uh, where are you? Right here. I wish I had brought dynamite. Oh, there you are! Get the fuck off me. Where were you? He's just waiting for me. He's like hiding behind the tree waiting for me to pull my shovel out. He's like, I'm going to wait for this fucker to pull his shovel out. Then I'm going to cap him. All right, we're going to do a quick little mine here. I need clay too a little bit, so we're going to grab a bit of that. Um, but I'm going to do a... Not a hole mine. Some people like to dig a hole and go straight down. The problem is with the nasty wandering hordes in darkness falls, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I like to cut a hole that's like three wide and have it like a slope. Um, because when, when we're down there, if I hear a wandering horde show up, I can just run straight up and out. Alright, let's do that one. And kill you. And back at it. Yeah, it's weird that that uh, treasure map's like right in the middle of the lake. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Ah, I psyched you out. I should kill that wolf too. He's probably going to come up on me. Alright. Come on, where's the iron? There it is. No, it isn't. That's stone. Is it under me? No, it's right there, I think. Is it? I don't think it is. Um. It was a stone boulder. Or a uh, iron boulder. Iron node might be back the other way. Damn it. I don't see any iron here. Yeah, I don't have time to mess around with this. Oh, it's coal. So there is stuff here. <sighs> Do I want to mess around with it? I don't. All right, I got an idea. Since we can four hit boulders. Mm, ah, we definitely need iron. I gotta make more steel. There, there's just no two ways about it. Definitely need to make more steel. Um, so maybe we just hit up a few boulders here on the way back. Uh, I gotta start using my time a little more efficiently, I think. That's a bit of iron. It's great that I can just, like, hit up a boulder like that and have it go real fast, you know? A couple more brotatoes. Which don't do a lot, of, a lot of good unless we have a lot of corn and, and uh, carrots with them, but should be fine. And Dire Wolf, let you, let, just let you do you. Now these boulders, I think, give us... They're scenery boulders, so I think they give us a bit of everything. Coal, nitrate, yeah, a little bit of everything, but not enough to warrant doing them. Great job. What if we do this fetch clear? Oh man, cryo grenades. Explosion damage five, block damage five. What do they do? Similar to a Molotov explosion, but partially freezes everything with an area, causing them to move slower. Well, I can't not select that, I don't think. We'll take the skill notes, too. They're going to give them away free. We'll take that. Um, 
Do you have any jobs? I think we stick with the level threes. Not as much as I want to try and restore power now that we have the night vision goggles. Uh, I think I we're going to go you? with this one. And stick with the tier threes. Now, the job that we have for Hugh, is that a tier two or a tier... It's a tier three fetch clear. I'm going to take that off the map for now. Do you have something really quick that we could do? Like a simple fetch? Fetch to the west. Fetch to the southwest. Fetch to the south. I got a job for you. Cemetery? Yeah, that's probably going to be an easy one. We're not going to do it right now, but we're going to have it on the map. I gotta start choosing my um, choosing my um, missions a little better, because if we start just taking everything, then we're just not gonna have time to pull off a lot of it, unfortunately. All right, what do we got here? Okay, some more iron. This definitely is not gonna give us the volume we're looking for, but at least it'll give us something. Now, there's a. Uh, area I marked on the map that's got both iron and nitrate so we're gonna go over there right now I'm kind of a little nervous to do some digging at this point because this is about the, well no I guess yesterday the wandering horde came kind of later in the day it's still morning right now so I think we might be able to get away with it but the wandering horde's gonna show up at any time and I don't want to be caught in a hole so right here there should be three boulders just up here I think one of them is nitrate and two of them are iron. There they are. There you are. Oh, there's four boulders. Cool. Park the bike here. What's this guy? That's iron. Let's break that one up. And then I think we dig down here. Headed towards these guys. Now this one should be nitrate, right? And this one is nitrate. Man, we gotta watch our stamina. And this one's nitrate. Okay, so it's different than what I thought. It's nice that we're two hitting these boulders now. Okay, so let's just start by digging down here. Actually, let's start by taking this out. Get a little honey out of it. Facing away from the town. Let's pray the Wandering Horde shows up after the rain and before I'm finished digging the hole. So if you want a good example of why I like using the, like not necessarily the best tools um, in the game, as you can see right here with the uh, iron shovel or the, uh, yeah, the iron shovel that I'm using this continuously a, a kind of non, non power attack and I'm not losing any stamina at all um, once again I'm just going to reiterate I, I'm one of those people that just really loves um, trying to always have my stamina maxed out if I can the reason for that is if, if something happens at any point in time in the game you're ready to fight like if, it was, if a watering horde was to jump me now I wouldn't be stuck in a hole with no stamina you know what I mean so I can, I can choose to go melee if I want. Like, I mean, if you're stuck in a hole with no stamina, yeah, sure, switch to your gun and everything's fine and dandy, but we don't have the ammo for that. I mean, I'll use it if I have to, but if I don't have to use it, I'm not gonna. I think at this point, I'm okay with taking a little bit of damage um, if I'm not using ammo because I can make healing bandages relatively easy. So getting my health back is relatively easy. Um, making ammo is a little harder at this point, so I'm okay with sacrificing that. It kind of sounds counterproductive though, but with my wellness so high, the fact that I've got like 200 stamina and 200 health, it's not so bad, you know? I think if I was, if it was a little, if my wellness was different, then maybe I'd be more worried about it, but we're pretty good. And now that we got, I mean, our armor is pretty good. And with our um, skills that we have, we're kind of mitigating, I think we're mitigating uh, almost 50% of the damage we take. So we've got 36% um, for our armor, 
And then the skill that we have um, under the security class uh, mitigates 20% of our hit point loss, which is the damage that we take. So what, get a, what gets applied first is the um, armor reduction in the damage that comes in, from what I understand. I could be wrong here. Um, and then the damage hit point uh, loss reduction gets applied on top of that. So if I'm only taking like 64% of the damage normally, then the hit point loss gets reduced. So if I get hit for 100 points damage, I'll take 64 because of my armor. And then that 64 will be reduced to further 20%, so another like 13 points. Um, I'm getting like nothing here. Um, so yeah, so then I'll then I'll have um, like almost a total reduction of like 50%, which is awesome. It's kind of what I'm looking for. 50% 50, 50 is actually pretty good at this stage in the game. I had just had a brief lag spike. Do I see a wandering horde forming, forming up? If it's anywhere, it's behind that hill. Nope. Alright. Just so freaking nervous being in a hole here. Yep. I thought so. I thought so. Come on, you fuckers. Come on, you. Good thing I got a rad remover on this thing. Don't care how tough you rads are. Oh, that guy's pretty tough. Alright, let's not mess around. We got no time to waste today. Damn you. They get right in your face and they get so bobbly. You gotta get them when they're just a little bit further out, like right there. God, this electricity mod is just wrecking house. Ooh, red bag, thank you. Only one bag, huh? Ah, oh, man, really? Well, another bag back here. I'm sure there's a couple guys still left over there, too. Get the spear back out. Yeah, here they come. We were just outside of their range, is all. Why don't you get up on me, lady? A couple more things to sell. Oh. Uh, I gotta take this first. Okay. Oh. Hey. Fuck off. 540 hit points. No problem. Spears got you covered. So I got some more. Come on, you two. We got a doctor. Or a lab tech. And a random idiot. And then the sun comes out. Look at that. We got six shotgun shells back. We spent 44 shotgun shells for garbage. That almost sounds like a song. 44 shotgun shells for garbage. Oh, another bag over here. Come on, give me some more rounds here. 56 bucks. He's like, go take yourself out for a cheap steak dinner. Thanks for that. And I don't have any repair kits, so if we don't find iron soon, we're not getting iron today. So I might be getting ripped off here because I'm making my... Like, I kind of went down where the iron was, but it's all nitrate under here. I mean, it's a good thing, don't get me wrong, because, I mean, we definitely need the nitrate, but I was hoping to get a double... Uh, a double node here. I'm making my way back towards where the iron was and it's like there's nothing here there it is is it yes finally okay good 
I hear a zombie. Soon as we find it, the zombie shows up. Hey, buddy. Thank you for your time. Now, I could just stay in the hole, wait for him to show up in the hole. But then if a second one shows up, you know, shit just gets real at that point, you know? Second and a third one shows up. I would rather be outside. So even this um, steel pickaxe right now, just with normal attacks, it's doing half decent damage, but I can do a full swing and not have to worry about my stamina dropping. Which is great because like I said, if you have to bail out of here and fight like a whore like we just fought, um, you've got the ability to get out and have full stamina and just get right into a fight. Or run, like that's the thing too, Like If you have no stamina, trying to run from a, from a uh, sprinting zombie can be tough. Um, but if you've got at least, you know, a full bar of stamina, you're guaranteed of getting away, right? Unless you're on, like, Nightmare. Then you're probably... Nightmare, Feral on, you're not getting away. They're going to run you down regardless. So you got to stand and fight. But, uh, yeah. And I did try that at one point. I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. I tried um, regular 7 Days to Die just because I wanted to see how bad it could get, right? So I started the game on uh, Nightmare, run speed. I put it on Insane Difficulty. And um, I put all of my points into strength and um, what was it? St strength, clubs, and um, sexual Tyrannosaurus right at the very beginning, so that I could make. I think I think I had a level two club or a level three club right at the very beginning, when I, like right after I started off, and then. Um, I couldn't even get to the traitor. Couldn't get to the traitor. As soon as the zombies spawned, they're just on you, right? And I took on the first couple without too much of a problem. And then there was two of them by the traitor. I'm like, well, there's two. I could probably kill the first guy, no problem. Like, there was a female zombie and a male zombie. And I'm like, I'll kill the female zombie first because they generally have less hit points. And then I'll kill the other guy. But no. Nope. They were doing so much damage to me. Um, and while I could hit one and stagger it back, the other one was wailing on me, and I couldn't get away from him, then he killed me, and then I respawned, made another club, went to attempt to go back, oh, and then we're done. I didn't bring any repair kits. So we got, ooh, stacking a bit of that, so that's a lot of, uh, steel we can make. Okay, cool, but one thing we didn't get though today was coal. I'm kind of, we got 100 coal, not much. We can make a little bit of gunpowder with that. I think we still have some at home too. It's one of those resources that you really only use to make gunpowder with. It's not a big deal. So let's go back to the house, drop this stuff off, get a repair kit, and then maybe we do... Um... I don't know. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at the buildings in the neighborhood. See if we can go do those. Now, I can't remember if the uh, warehouse that's just behind our house. I can't remember if we went into that place and grabbed the main loot or not. But I know where the main loot is for that, so we might go in there and do that. Oh, looks like somebody left a bag for us. I guess one of the neighbors had brought over pie earlier and uh, we forgot to pick it up. Ooh, not bad. Crossbow. We were looking for that, weren't we? Oh no, we had the compound crossbow, that's right. Okay, just to get shit done, I'm gonna dump all this because there's nothing that we really need at the moment other than the... I'll sort this tonight. Um, where is the clay? Right there. So let's get some steel moving in here. Uh, here... 600 I think we should be able to make this is why you want to get to the advanced forges as soon as possible so in a big forge you'd be able to turn this into 300 steel in an advanced forge you can turn it into 600 it just makes so much more sense to actually go ahead and grab that as early as possible um, where's the rest of the iron that was in here iron bring it down let's leave you in there now uh, we're we gonna do Repair kit. Um, where are my... Oh, they're in here. I gotta get better sorted. Now, I do have... Um, and this, as I know it's been a while coming. Everything's been a while coming. I did make the lockable st storage cabinets. And we got that guy for... Where are you here? Did we not pick up that... Win we did, right there. Winchester. Um... Because I think I want to start running with that instead of the bow at some point. Not right now, though. Uh, just because, like, like I said, ammo-wise. We got, well, we got 271. Yeah, we'll end up burning through it too quickly. Let's just leave it here for now. We got stuff to do. 
Why am I um, in the house when we got stuff to do today? All right, let's go across the street. Actually, we repaired, you know what? Where's the coal mine? It's like right there. Let's get that coal. That's a little, f well, I don't really like the area. We do need trees though, so let's grab a few of these. What are we looking at for wood? 1400? Alright, just trying to clear the area of trees here a little bit. Alright, there's not much we need to do when we get back home. Oops. So, I'm not that worried. Hey, buddy. Can't you see I'm mining? Mining. Go away. Did you kill that guy over there? Wow, Survivor couldn't even kill one nurse zombie. Alright, let's go from back here a bit. Alright, well there's crickets. We got a little bit. By the time we dug our way in here, there wasn't much, uh... Much time left, unfortunately. But we should get close to a thousand here, I think. It's been hard to see the coal down here. It's hard to see generally, but even harder in here for some reason. So how much did we pick up? A little over a thousand. We got a hundred earlier today. Let's get back to the house. We can make a thousand uh, gunpowder. Now all we really need is lead. So I think tomorrow, after the horde's done, we grab some. We just grab our stuff and make our way out to the desert. Now what are these guys? That's coal too. That's coal. And that's iron. So I think we want to mark this one on the map. Right here. And we'll go... C-I. Coal iron. And I think we come back and do this one at some point. That's probably better. If we can find two ores in one hole, it's always better than just digging one. Hey, uh, Big Mama, the horde's about to start. You better get ready. She never seems to be ready for the horde. I don't know why that is. Okay, where's the nitrate powder we have up here? Oh, come on. There's the rest of the coal nitrate. Here we go. Um, you. So we did make some gas last night, and then we made another black dye last night. So I knew I knew we made some stuff. We don't need that. Um, Gunpowder. 15 minutes, roughly. There we go. Get it all going. Cool. We're definitely going to need that. Alright, let's toss all that stuff in there. Um, plus part of that. Now, what do we not need tonight? We don't need you on us. We might need the wood. We might need the iron. Definitely don't need the dukes or those. Don't need that. Okay. Um, we're not going to need you, 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 you. That's for clearing the doorway. We don't need the bow. Oops. Uh, we want to grab all of our other stuff out of here, though. Now, iron-wise. we got iron on us. Let's make some more junk turret ammo. Uh, let's make a couple hundred rounds on us. How much is that? 600. Is it any different making it in here? So if we do 200 rounds, yeah, it's the same. All right, just make it on us, then. Um, so that's going... There's nothing going on in there, right? No. Turn you on. I refueled this last night. Now, we haven't had a chance to test it with the, um... The switch yet. So I'm really hoping it works. The gun should be turned on when we turn it on downstairs. I'll take a couple of those with me. I'll take a couple of those. A couple of these. That, just in case. We need one of these to start the night out. I should probably be turning all of this into aloe cream, which I'm going to do before we go. Now, was there anything else we wanted? 
I don't think so. I think that's probably pretty good. Hello cream. Get that started. Um, that's what I mean about me trading off hit points as opposed to like wasting ammo. We've got plenty of stuff, right? So uh, we got the shotgun, we got the AK. Let's bring you down. Uh, the shotgun I'm going to try tonight. But you know what? Let's put it back here. But don't accidentally switch to it. The crossbow can go in there. Uh, grenades. Contact grenades. We got the repair kits. I think we're good. Let's just grab um, one of you guys. Top up what we have, and then we'll go ahead and do. Let's grab you and you two. We might as well get some more red tea moving. The reason why I use red tea is it has the digestive efficiency, so it just makes a little more sense to use it. Uh, and I think we're ready to go. What am I forgetting? We got first aid, the power's turned on, switches down below, electric fence is down there. Oh, you know what we need? Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do repairs and stuff, but we got to make sure we don't die. I'm really hoping that I can make it to the end. Before I die horribly. I think if I died really early on it wouldn't be so bad, but now a little later in the game. You know, I don't want to die too much. This is just a uh, thing. I think the last time we died five or six times or something. But we never died till like day... I don't know what it was. We were traveling to another town We died when we died the first time. Oh, we need uh, this. A bit of this. I think we need the forged iron for the... Uh, Repairing the electric fences. This is a just-in-case thing. Oh, you know what we forgot to make, though? Let's take a bit extra. Um, uh, iron shutters. Iron shutters. Two. Craft. I think we're ready. That's just the cabinets. Okay. I think we're ready. Right? I kind of know this is going to work. And I probably should have been more wise that we had all that set up there. Two steel hatches. Have one up to start. Got the wired fence. Switch on. I should probably test this though. Yep. I am shocked. I am shocked at work. Alright. We're going to save this uh, for in case we need it. Actually, I should probably switch these two positions. Because knowing me, if I get like a spider monkey in here... Um, it's gonna like... I'll grab the wrong thing and, and shoot it with the uh... With the um... Whatchamacallit? Now I should... Pr I don't uh, I, see, the thing is, is I don't want the turret to see the guys outside because it's gonna fire more. I guess that's okay. I don't know if there's, I don't know if the zombies are going to get in. Wait, I don't have any, those done yet. Oh, there we go. Here's the first one. We should just be able to reach in there. We can repair that. Cool. Let's turn this off. So when we get the second one, we can update that one over there. Didn't bring any concrete. Crap. Oh well. Should be all right. You should be all right. This is one of those few horde bases that it's been working so well for me that I don't feel uncomfortable standing out here like this. <laughs> Usually I feel uncomfortable. I mean, if we get a lot of spitters and stuff, it'll be a problem, but these turrets, like, that when we were putting all this stuff in the other day, we had all those zombies trying to get to us. They couldn't even get to us. They fire so quickly. 43 seconds. We got time. Let's bring the frames down just in case. Well, there's the horde. I don't know if we do have time. We loaded. Not loaded. Alright, you fuckers. Any cops? 
I should get a big spotlight on here too. Yeah, see the- Oh, well, I was just about to say. Yeah, see the spider zombies? They're not jumping for me. Nope, fucker jumped from down there. Don't think we're gonna get away from them. I think we needed to be up one higher. How are you not getting hit by that fence? I love how these guys avoid that fence. Actually, I should probably see if I can, uh... Let's take this first. Do we have the uh, shutter done? We do. Risky. There we go. Alright, now we should just be able to focus on the guys we need to focus on. Like those guys. I'm thinking as far as radiation gear goes, we should probably work towards, um... Um, where is that spider? Damn it, I need a rad mover on this thing. Come on, you guys. Back up the ramp. So the ramp's working okay. Spiders are still jumping from down here, though. Yeah, I don't want this to be a too noisy horde. We gotta, like, start conserving ammo. Although I want to see if we can do... Come on. Nope. I don't know where the fuck that hit, but it didn't hit where I wanted it to. I think it's because of this. We're down- we're not a full block here. Fair enough. Fun pimps, fair enough. Yeah, they're in a loop now. They're pretty much in a loop. That was a good change. Now, once we're able to get more stuff onto the, um... If we can get more stuff onto those junk turrets, like the rad remover and things like that, then, um, it'll all be good. What I'd like to do, and I don't know if we can actually do it with this, is have, um, electric fences down here somewhere. I don't know how we would set that up. We'd have to sink them down one so that the electric fences were on, like, this one here, like, running across ground level. And then have the ability for the zombies to be able to walk over them or run over them or whatever. Are you done, or are you just... No, you're not done. You are now. Drop the bag, too. So, I don't know who was in the comments that mentioned all I need is a green card to get into the end bunker. Or not the end bunker, but... The, uh, first one. Um... I need two green cards. So, we need a green card, I think, for the front door. And then I think the second green card we need for the end loot room, which is where the military zombies spawn. So as long as we have one to get in, I think we have two upstairs, which is good. So we're, we're set for the end bunker, but we need to go to Eve. Uh, I think we need to make that a, uh, a journey where we go see Eve, we do the mining we need to do. Um, yeah, they're not even hitting that thing either. Like, they're not banging on anything over there that I can see anyway. You know, they're just running straight up. So we go see Eve and then, um... Uh, get our quest. Try and get it so it's in the desert town. Do our mining over there. I mean, technically we could probably bring some cobblestone blocks and reassemble something like this while we're out there if we wanted to fight a horde when we were out there. It's just, oh, it's just so iffy, like, you know what I mean? The fact that they don't know when the horde's coming makes everything so difficult. It's been quiet for birds. This is going to be a low ammo night, which is nice. And it's probably a good thing, too, because we're at... Where are we here? 2833 enemy kills, game stage 129. One player kill. That's not me being killed. That's killing one of the survivors. I think that's what that is. 
because deaths is this one here. Means zero deaths, but this is killing the survivors, I think. The survivors somehow count as players. We gotta get points on this. There we go. Might as well kill off some of the tougher guys. Yeah, so the reason why this thing is so damn stable... Oh, here we go. Is I put on... Here's what we have in it. I made, we made those mods for this thing. Or I made them last night. Uh, reflex that we had, but muzzle break, foregrip, and the retracting stock mod. And this thing is like ridiculously stable. Like ridiculously stable. And I love it. We didn't get him. Damn it. This guy's like invisible. And you get this thing. Yeah, not bad. We would have got a one shot with the other one, the other shotgun, so I didn't check the damage difference. Okay, that's a spitting bird. I think we got him. So I didn't want to kill too many zombies, now we're into the animal stage and stuff, so... Still getting in. This thing didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Well, at least we're taking less damage. The cloth armor was great early on, but just not cutting it anymore. God damn it. Alright, there we go. That should help out. Once the rad remover is on the uh, those turrets, it'll make a huge difference. But we can't make those rad removers until we get uh, to level 80 when we have tier 3 science. And I do have one rad remover, it's on my spear. And I could take it off and put it on the junk turret for horde knights, but if I do that, then I'll forget it and then we'll be out fighting and I'll think I have the rad remover on my spear and I don't. Man, I tell you. If you guys don't know anything about like ADHD or autism or stuff like that, just go. There's so many great videos online that talk about all the different like types of uh, like ADHD and how it affects people, and it's it's weird because like I went my almost my entire life without being diagnosed, thinking that just that's just how I was. And it's like oh no, I'm that I'm that way because of this. It's like oh well, that makes a lot of sense. And it's not doesn't justify anything, but it's like you it just once you realize, you know, why you're doing things the way you are, you don't feel wrong, or you know what I mean? Like you don't feel broken. It's just like, oh, that's just who I am. Cool. Now I understand that, and I can kind of work around it. Identify when I'm doing it, work around it. It's pretty cool. But still, it's like these guys aren't dropping red bags tonight. Damn it. I feel ripped off, lady. Ripped off, I tell you. Oh, you dropped a bag. That's good. Now ah, we got a bear. Hey, you. I don't have a rad remover on this, so if you can please die, that would be nice. Is our turret not firing? No, it's firing. There we go. See, they only drop bags when you use the shotgun. <laughs> They're like, we need you to use up your most vital ammo first, and we'll drop you a bag. We're not going to give you any ammo in return. Why would we do that? I don't know. I, maybe we extend those bars out one more? They must... I don't know how they're getting in there. Oh, hey. No zombie has gotten through yet. Just dogs. And night stalkers. I think the dogs get through because they're shorter. Just 
spiders, we know why they get through. Once we get armor-piercing ammo, too. Yeah, fucking fry, you bastard. I was hoping the electric, like, the defense would do more here, but... I wonder if there's another way if we can get one that goes across. Well, I guess we'd be standing there. Never mind. Oh, the bear made it. And you got some pretty fucking cheat reach there. I'm like one, two, three blocks back and he still reached me. Ah, I don't know. That's a cop. At least I think it is. Hey, cop can be steal here. Is it a cop? Or is it a vomiting bird? Probably a bird. Still alive, huh? At least they don't stick their heads through like they used to. They used to be able to get you through there. So they kind of fixed that. Demo. That's kind of the real test of the base, you know. Is the demos show up late. So if you've built your base right, the demo shouldn't really do too much. It's just that last gasp of... You're not dead yet, we're going to try and defeat you with a demo. Here he comes. Leg shots, please. Cop! Yeah, hang on, I gotta kill this cop. Damn it! She blew up. It's all your fault. Ooh, headshot. I want to say they're slowing down, but no, they're probably just caught in the building or something. Okay, we got him before he blew off his button. Okay, nobody there. Ah, the, uh, that cop blew up too. Well, we gotta replace the ground at some point anyway, so. Actually, let's repair you. We're gonna lose one of our mods, I think. I want to repair it. It's almost the end of the night. Hey, buddy. I think we hold off. We'll just use the shotgun for the next little bit. Night's just finishing up. That was a pretty good horde. We didn't use a lot of ammo. Well, we did. A stack in a bit. For the AK. But it was worth it because we got to rank it up, so... Ooh, blue bag. A little bit of ammo. Ooh, red bag. Alright, we gotta solve that problem. That's actually not bad. Coil carbine? That was worth the exchange and damage. That's another demo. Hunted. You know what, since we're not doing anything here, can we actually fit? We can't. We can do this, though. wonder how this will work against the demo. Where is he? 
He didn't die yet, did he? Oh, for fuck's sakes. What a waste of ammo. How am I not hitting this guy? Do you mind? I'm like dealing with this fucking spider monkey here. He was probably stuck partway in the door, maybe. Now, nah, where is that demo? Did he die? Oh, there he is. Well, at least you're blowing up down there. That was the turret. That wasn't me. Land the turret. Those were shot. Shit shots. Can't not shoot the. Was that a cop? There he is. Open those headshots. There we go. Another demo? It is. Shit. Well. <laughs> we got a bit of work to do tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Ha. Ah. That's okay. We'll just make concrete blocks with the concrete we don't have. Right? Am I right? The one kind of bonus about um, the past few Horde Nights is we've gotten a few coil parts. So once we're able to make coil guns, then we should be able to just quickly, uh, damn it. Okay, got the dog. Can't afford anything else blowing up. Well. I wanted to go out today. Come on, you bastards. Be nice if we could fight the horde here. But we know that's not happening. Keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. You're, you're helping. That's really helping. Push the guy right into the fucking spear. Oop. Sorry about that, buddy. Come on. The rest of you, get up here. Why is my turret not firing now? Oh! Out of stamina. Let's back up a bit. If I if they weren't spitting at me or there was no birds, I could like fight the horde from like right here pretty much. Come on, buddy. Let's go champ. Let's just get down there. Come on, you guys. Let's finish this off. We got shit to do today. It's gonna be a base repair day, I think. And then tomorrow... We gotta find out tomorrow. Wow, my normal attack's actually slower than the power attack. Tomorrow we gotta find out... Um, if there's a horde, and if there's not, we're gonna go out to the desert. Oh, there's two cards, blue and a green. Now, I know we... I'm pretty sure we have two green upstairs. Oh, there's some more coil stuff. All right, locals showing up to say hi. We didn't get very many bags tonight. But then again, we didn't do very many kills last night either. We oh, got a bag for me too. It's nice of you. So the asphalt did not have a lot of hit points, as you can see. But it's much quicker for demos to get rid of it than for me to get rid of it. So now we can fill all that in with concrete, and then eventually steel, so that when the demos do get punted off here... Uh, we don't have our uh, pickaxe on us. 
Okay, so what do we got? Some arrows, some stuff to sell, which we can repair. Po titanium helmet. I thought that was power armor, but I guess it's titanium. Not bad. Um, a couple of M4s. A couple of ARs. Scrap that. Some stuff to sell. Um, a coil carbine, which isn't bad. I wish you could disassemble this for the parts, but you can't. Alright, let's quickly go upstairs here. Uh, before we end this episode, when we come back next time, I'll do all the repairs and the cleanup and stuff. I want to see with you. So they did. Not not very much damage to that at all. Not very much at all. A little bit to the hatch. And how what did you do? You didn't even get. Well, you were close to the point of breaking, but not quite. What about in here? Repair that. Actually, let's repair. Can I repair through those bars? I can. No, that's the bars themselves. Damn it. I'm a dur. No cobblestone. Okay. Uh, let's break you down. Yeah, a little bit of damage there, but not much. And then... You're good. How much ammo do we use in here? Thirty-one. Left. So, yeah, we used, like, something, I don't know, almost 70, 75. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.